Have you ever wanted to do a furniture makeover, but you're so overwhelmed? What paint do I choose? What brush do I need? Should I use a sprayer? Do I need a sander? Do I need power tools? You actually don't need any of those things. Today, we're gonna do an easy, beginner-friendly, pretty close to one day makeover, and all you need is a roller and a chip brush, and this makeover starts right now. If you've never seen me use Beyond Paint before, I have several videos on it. I will link all of those down in the description box, but I love it for someone who is just a beginner, just a DIYer, just somebody who wants to flip something for their home because it is so easy to use. You don't have to sand your furniture. All you really have to do is give it a good cleaning. It's got a bonder, a primer, a top coat in it. So I really think anybody can do it. I bought this sofa table at the thrift store for $30 and it was in pretty good shape. It just had a little bit of nicks and dings that I had to fill with some wood filler and I sanded that back already. This bat wing hardware is really dated so I know I'm gonna replace it. But again, I'm trying to keep this really easy for you guys and I'm not gonna fill this hardware hole. This is two and a half inches and it's really hard to find replacements for this, but I have a trick so definitely stick around to the end of the video so you can see how I make this work without having to drill new holes. The only thing I need to do to prep this table to be painted with Beyond Paint is give it a really good cleaning with a really good cleaner. So I'm going to be using Simple Green to get the job done today. Simple Green is my go-to all-purpose cleaner for removing dirt and grease and stains from my furniture before painting. I love the fact that it comes really concentrated so I can dilute it to the strength that I need. When I'm cleaning furniture, I like to use it in a one-to-one -one ratio. And then around my house for cleaning, I like to use the one to 10 ratio. I let this set for one to two minutes to start loosening up all that dirt and grime. And then I come with a microfiber towel and scrub really well. Simple Green is non-abrasive and non-caustic, so it's perfect to clean the sealed wood that I'm working with and it does an amazing job at removing all those stubborn oils that we deposit with our hands. Once I got done wiping this down, I just took some clean water and rinsed any residue away. Simple Green is available on Amazon and I'll leave a link down in the description box for you. I'm gonna be keeping the sofa table for myself because I wanna try to get my kids to stop jumping over our couch in our living room. So we're ready to paint. That is really all the prep that you need to do. Just clean your piece, make sure it's grease, dirt, oil free. I have my stuff all ready to go. I'm gonna get my paint in my tray. I've chose a beautiful beige color, neutral Nelly here, um, but I've never used this one. This, called, this is linen, it's like a deep khaki. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like. To prep my roller, I'm just gonna wrap it in some painter's tape and then take that back off and that's gonna help any of those loose fibers get off so they don't end up in my paint. The roller and the chip brush in this tray can all be purchased as a kit on beyondpaint.com. And there's no technique to this. You just wanna get a little bit of paint on your roller, smooth it out, and then just start putting it on your furniture. Beyond Paint is a very thick paint and it is very textured as you're putting it on. That will flatten out a bit, but do know that it has a little bit of texture to it and that is meant to hide and disguise any nicks and dings that you might have in your furniture. Anything that's flat, you wanna roll out, but when you come across having any detail work or crevices, you wanna take a chip brush and stipple the paint in there. It's like a bouncing motion like this, and then roll over all of that. Beyond Paint is pretty magical. It can be used on a lot of surfaces like finished wood here, but it can also be used on raw wood, painted wood, whether that's with oil, latex, polyurethane, varnish, or epoxy. You can also put it on metal, formica, laminate, plastic, linoleum, masonry, tile, and glass. So it's pretty much gonna stick to anything. And the best part and why it is so beginner friendly is that you don't have to sand, strip, or prime with this paint. This paint comes in pints, quarts, and gallons, and on their website, they have an easy guide that shows you just how much square footage that covers, as well as an array of different projects that you might be tackling and how much paint you're gonna need for them. They also have lots of colors to choose from, even some bold ones if you're not neutral like me. You just wanna watch for drips and globs as you're going along. You really wanna smooth those out as you can, especially on this sofa table when I'm doing the legs, the paint can pull up around the corners. So I was just being really careful to smooth that out as I went. I 
have my first coat done. That went pretty quick. Only took about 30 minutes to get it on. In between coats, it has to dry two to four hours. So I'm just gonna take my roller and my chip brush and put it in some plastic so I don't have to clean it in between. I have a climate controlled garage, so mine was dry in two hours and ready to recoat. But then I accidentally spilled some paint, but my Simple Green did a great job cleaning that up. So that's another use for that as well. The first coat is dry, so I'm ready for my second coat. You can see I don't have a lot of full coverage on that first coat. That is totally normal, especially when you're going from a dark to light color. This first one is really just like the priming coat and the second one is gonna add a lot more color. On the second coat is when I started really falling in love with this color. You can see when I'm putting it on, the paint is a little bit lighter. It does dry down darker to this beautiful khaki finish. Adding the second coat is just as easy as doing the first. I'm doing all the rolling on the flat surface and then using that chip brush to get into any details. I was pretty nervous after that first coat, seeing how much of that wood tone was still coming through, but this second coat really did give me some good coverage and it was nice and opaque. Okay, I'm back for day two. My sofa table has sat overnight. It's been 24 hours since I painted it. So normally it would be ready to go. Most of the time when I use Beyond Paint, it has a built-in top coat, so you don't have to top coat, but they've just reformulated their top coat that you can use for countertops and high traffic area. And you know, since this is a sofa table, it's gonna be by my sofa that my kids keep jumping over. I thought let's put the sealer on the top, see what it's like, and give it just that little bit of extra protection. But you do not have to use this, it's just in case you're worried about a heavy traffic area. So this is really milky white, so it's gonna apply really white, but it will dry down clear, and it's gonna have a beautiful satin finish. And you're gonna apply it just the way you did the paint. I'm gonna use that same type of roller to put it on. While my top coat's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and add the drawers back in and show you my new hardware. I told you I had a really fun surprise on the hardware. I was able to save this irregular sized hardware. This is two and a half inches. Standard size is three inches. So what I would normally do here is fill these holes, sand them back and re-drill holes, but we wanna make it a lot easier for you because this is a beginner friendly makeover, no skill required. So I got these really cool Liberty poles that actually adjust. So I can move this up and down this bar and it's gonna fit perfectly to my size. The instructions were really easy to follow. You just had to attach the bracket so they were facing the right way. And then there were little pins that you stuck in here next to the screw so that these would lay flat against the drawer. My drawers are gonna hit up against a finished painted frame. And whenever I do this, I like to put little pads on here so that it's not gonna scratch up that finish.
Just to remind you, here's the sofa table that I started off with, and here it is now. So here it is, a two day makeover, and it was really easy. I wanna encourage you guys that you can do something like this. Beyond Paint makes it so easy. Hopefully this is gonna keep my kids from jumping over the couch like I wanted it to. I love the color. And I want you to know that I wanted to show it beautiful and staged and what I intend to make the sofa table look like, but this thing has to cure. So unfortunately, after I'm done with the video, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna put it back out in the garage and let it cure for 30 days. I know that's a long time to wait, but that's gonna let your paint get really hard, that top coat get really hard and protective. And then after that, you can use it heavily, you can clean it, you can do anything you want. So just be careful in those first 30 days after your furniture flip. I hope this inspires you that you can try a furniture flip with Beyond Paint in your own home. I will be back with another video soon and I will see you guys next time.